Big play, Tori Holt joins us on the phone. This is the best part of sitting in for Rich when I'm with Marshall, because he just dials people up. And <laughs> Tori, thanks for taking the time. I want to tell you, I'm sure Rich is kind of bummed out because he loves you. But thank you yeah. for taking the time to call in. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Thanks for uh, thanks for having me. What's up, Rush? Nothing much, man. Um, I was I was just sitting here and 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 I was thinking, uh, as we always do around this time of the year, uh, you can't say much about it, but to the voters um, on the Hall of Fame, uh, it, 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 I know there's a lot of funny numbers out there with wide receivers because wide receivers are uh, it's becoming harder and harder for receivers to get into the Hall of Fame when they should except because of the numbers. But I always say to people, Torrey Holt and Isaac Bruce, their numbers are what they are. I played with them. We also had Oz Hakeem. Numbers were put up with other guys. They weren't just one guy on a team catching a lot of balls. So you don't have to speak to the voters, but um, I got you covered. I just wanted you to know that. I appreciate that, man. And it's for me. It's it's a tremendous honor. The last couple of years, I've been a semifinalist, man, and to be ranked up there, be considered with some of the the, the best players that ever played our game is very humbling to me. And you're right, the numbers, all the numbers, and the game when we were playing at that pace, rush, they was telling us we was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you remember? How people, how people, oh people, yeah. Oh. People, how people was like bad. They was like we, we was crazy. Coach Morris out of his mind. You know how are those guys going to keep up with that that pace? And we were we were built that way to play the game that way, and Coach Marsh knew that had a great system in place for us, and we went out there and did our thing. So uh, our work is done. Isaac and mine. I think Isaac will eventually be in the Hall of Fame. I think Kurt will get a, will get an opportunity to get in. Big O is going to going to get into the Hall of Fame. So we're going to be back. The Rams are going to be back in Ken and uh, again real soon, and, and, and going to continue to be back up there for a while. Tori Holt joins us on the Rich Eisen Show. And with the Rams being in L.A., what does that mean to you as a member of the Rams family? I'm excited. I really am. And, and I feel sorry for the fans in St. Louis. I really do. Um, I played 10 years there. I, I went there as a young man, left there as, a, as an adult, um, a grown man. And St. Louis had a lot to do with my growth. Uh, playing with Marshall and Isaac and Big O and, and all those guys in St. Louis had a lot to do with my growth as a football player uh, as well as a young man. So... I have a lot of great memories for great memories being in the city of St. Louis. And they love their sports figures. They cheered their butts off for us when we were doing it well. And they did the best they could when we were sucking. Uh, so I, I appreciate them a, a lot. But I'm really excited about the opportunity of coming to Los Angeles and spending time with the fans, our fans there in Los Angeles. The Rams tradition starts all the way back in Cleveland. Obviously, went to Los Angeles, St. Louis, now back in Los Angeles. And one thing that's, to me, that's uh, the common denominator is Rams. We're Rams, wherever it is, wherever it is, they are. So I'm excited for the fans of Los Angeles. Stan has a, you know, just looking at the stadium and some of the things and reading some of the articles and things that are in place is going to be incredible. And I heard Marshall mention, could St. Louis handle uh, his vision and what he has in plans for this uh, for the stadium for this team is a it's 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 definitely a, a good question. I don't know if they could, uh, but I know what the city of Los Angeles is excited about it. It's one of the entertainment entertainment capitals of the world. They have the Rams back, and now I hope uh, that they can go out there more importantly and put a winning product out on the football field to go along with the glitz and the glamour. We got about sixty seconds left, Marshall Falk. What do you hey, have Tori, for Hey, Tori, real Hall? quick, man. You, I, I know you live in Carolina. Tell us about the fanfare that's going on with the with the Panthers right now. How excited are oh, they? Rush is crazy out here, man. Because this is this is this is our team. You know, I'm born and raised in North Carolina. I grew up watching the Redskins and the Cowboys because that was like the only team that we can get on our channels down here. And then the Panthers all of a sudden bust on the scene, Samuels and all those guys. They became the team in the state of North Carolina and to see them have an opportunity to get back into the Super Bowl. This, this, the state is going crazy. The fans in Carolina and Charlotte are amazing, and they have a really outstanding football team led by the, who I think is the league's MVP, Cam Newton, and arguably the defensive MVP, Luke Keekley. So uh, a really good time for the Carolina Panthers organization and a really good time for our fans here in the state of North Carolina. Tori, who's winning Super Bowl 50? 
Wow. That's big. That's big. We got to look. I, I, I want to start to get past the championship round. I'm, I, I'm a direct. I'm, I'm a... Susie goes all in. She goes hard. She goes yeah, I, hard. I like to bring I it. I like to bring it. But I feel, you know what? I, I think I think the Panthers get by Arizona, which I think is going to be an outstanding game. It could okay. be a, it could, it could be like watching UNLV play. It has that. They have that kind of. Both teams have that kind of talent. And then Peyton and Tom again. Peyton and Tom again. How exciting is that? But I give, I give the the Broncos the edge being at home, and I think the Broncos corners can lock up and hold down the uh, the, the Patriots receivers. I'm sorry, I think I have a bad connection. I, I don't. I, I think I heard him. Did he just take Denver? He did. Wow. So, so, Carol, so Carolina and Denver for the Super Bowl, and the home team, Carolina Panthers, and win it all. Wow, Marshall, Marshall. <laughs> Hey, I'm I'm letting Tori be an analyst. All right. That's, that was, good job, Tori. Marshall. Nice talking to you, man. Let, let, let's yeah, just say that always, Rush, huh? Rush is speechless over here, Tori. Hey, hey, hey. Right, right. I know he is. I know he is. I take it all uh, in. I take it all in. I might use that on Super Bowl Sunday. You know? Tori, hey. thank you so much for your time. Really appreciate it. Absolutely. Thank you. And I look forward to March. You know, we call the, the Rams preseason game, so I'm hoping we'll be back out. Long, we'll be in Los Angeles. Yeah, looking forward to it. Looking forward game, to it. So I'm looking forward to it. So I'm really looking forward to uh to send our fans out in Los Angeles and spending some time with them and getting to know them, man. It's going to be great. Take that man to dinner, Marshall. Oh, I will. And bring I, I, I me take along. Care, I take care of Tori. Come on, Rich and I are available for that. <laughs> the Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern. On Audience.